Good morning, my name is Andrew Boyer. And my name is Maria Fiaggio. Uh, together we are Project Suite. Uh, we're really excited to be here today to share with you our uh, solution for transport transporting and, and sterilizing water in impoverished communities. So in the United States, we have the luxury of accessing clean water wherever and whenever we want it. Um, unfortunately, m communities around the world, over 2 billion people, more than a quarter of the world's population, lacks access to safe drinking water on a regular basis. So in uh, last September, I went to South America and I got to live and breathe the daily struggles of one of these communities. Um, here in the northern deserts of, of Colombia, you'll find the indigenous tribe of the YU community. Um, here, like countless communities around the world, women and children walk for over three miles and up to six hours every single day just to collect their water. I spoke with mothers who carry water over their heads and on their backs, uh, putting themselves at risk of injury as well as losing precious time they could be spending going to school and going to work. And to think that women around the world are doing this for water that isn't even clean. Uh, the World Health Organization has classified uh, waterborne diseases such as cholera, diarrhea, and hepatitis A as the second leading cause of death for these types of community, communities. So it begs the question, um, how can we create a solution that makes transportation easier um, and sterilization of water more accessible for these types of communities? So our proposed solution is the SWEET Roller. SWEET stands for Sterilized Water Energy Efficient Transport. Um, and as the name implies, the SWEET Roller uh, offers two unique value propositions. First is transportation, and second is the sterilization of water. Um, and does all of this at an affordable cost. Our product can hold up to 75 liters of water. This is the average cleaning, cooking, and drinking uh, needs for an average family of five. This eliminates the multiple trips that need to be taken to the water source and frees up their time for um, energy and doing other activities. Um, our product can clean uh, water, a whole volume, for within the 15 minutes, which means that by the time our user gets home, 99.9% .9 of bacteria and pathogens in the water will already be neutralized. And our product is affordable, which um, we expect that by using low-cost material and uh, manufacturing techniques, that we can um, sell our product by a price of $31, with leaving a contribution margin of $4. And this is how the sweet roller works. Um, while our, users, our user walks to the water source, fills up the, the roller, particulate matter like sand, dirt, or leaves get eliminated by a mesh filter over the lid. While the user rolls the water back home, kinetic energy is harnessed by a generator, which um, turns it into electrical energy to power up a UV sterilization unit, which sterilizes the water. While there are other um, products in the market that are trying to address the same issues as ours, the only alternatives that they only offer either sterilization or transportation. So with your help, um, we hope to make the lives of these impoverished communities sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was Hi, could you tell us a little bit about the roller and how it's designed to handle uh, dirt roads or, or less than perfect conditions? Yeah, that's a good question. So the, the roller itself is a product that exists on the market already, uh, like the photo you see here. Um, it's built with a really robust material, a type of plastic that's UV treated. Um, so it can withstand the bumps and bruises of going through these types of terrains. It's also uh, easy to roll around because you actually feel one ninth of the weight that you're carrying. So a woman or a child could carry this. Um, our innovation is adding the, co the cleaning component and using that already existing behavior of rolling and carrying the water back to your home to actually power something that's going to make the water uh, potable. How many uses does one of these get? Like how, how many trips back and forth? Yeah, so like the, I mean, the, the, the plastic itself is not a limiting factor. Um, I think the limiting factor will be the UV sterilization unit, actually the UV LEDs that are inside, but they do have a lifespan of about seven years. So um, we can expect that these will run for at least seven years. Beyond the UV, uh, beyond the UV uh, treatment, is there anything else, or does that complete most everything you're looking to do? Yeah, so the main contaminant for these types of communities is fecal bacteria um, and bio biological contaminants. Um, what we want to do in future uses is have a, a filter that removes heavy metals. So that's the only other contaminant that may be present in some types of uh, water sources. Quick last one, is there a prototype? Yeah, so we have a proof of concept we developed uh, last, late last year, and we ran that one into the ground with testing basically, but throughout this year we're building a full-scale manufacturable model. 
So I cut a lot of grass, and I roll my grass to get my yard flat. Looks a lot like this. Yeah. Uh, very heavy, very difficult to move, not real easy to move, and it's made out of plastic. So I'm just curious if you have size, if, am I looking at the wrong size, or is it closer to the size of what she was carrying on her head? So this one, this one here is about 100 liters. It would be three quarters of the size, which makes it easier to move around. Thank you. I think we're done. Thank you very much.